Surviving Infidelity Discovered I am not my daughter's biological father. I just found out my 15 years old daughter is not my biological child. My daughter was preparing for a family tree project for an online class, and wanted an ancestry test. My father is half Native American, but he died several years ago, and I don't know precisely what Native American blood is in the family. My daughter came to me because it was my father, and we didn't mention it to her mother at the time. Well, it turned out my daughter doesn't have any Native American blood. The obvious conclusion didn't occur to me at first, because the truth of the situation didn't seem possible. I assumed there was a mistake, my first thought was that my father hadn't been part Native American. So, I took the test, and everything became apparent. It was a very emotional situation for me and my daughter. What I will remember the most was after she started crying, she hugged so tightly and just kept saying over and over, I love you daddy. At home, I confronted my wife, and she looked like she'd had a stroke. She started crying and apologizing. You can probably imagine it. My wife and I got married because she was pregnant. We had been together for more than a year when it happened. It turns out, she was sleeping with multiple guys at the time. She says it didn't mean anything, and she doesn't even remember some of their names. When she realized she was pregnant, she said she wasn't sure who a father was. Since I was unaware of her extracurricular activities, she let me believe I was the father, because I was the most financially stable. In terms of that, she may have chosen correctly, I have been very successful in my career, and building passive income streams has been a hobby of mine for a long time. My daughter got my wife to admit to this on tape, as my daughter records the whole thing. I asked my wife several times, and she keeps insisting that she has been faithful for the entire time we have been married. I've never suspected anything, but I also didn't realize she was sleeping around before we got married, so I've said I don't believe her. I've come across a lot of the red flags of cheaters, and I can't think of any of them during our marriage. She doesn't use social media and she has never been guarded about her phone. She only drinks on special occasions and doesn't go out for girls night or anything. Also, she is a stay-at-home wife slash mom, so there aren't any co-workers to worry about. She exercises at home as we have a very nice home gym. I don't believe her when she says she hasn't cheated after getting married, but I can't think of anything suspicious. We have a prenup so I'm not worried about divorce if it comes to that. My daughter is another story. She is absolutely livid about the whole situation. I know teenagers can be emotional, I certainly remember how I was at her age, but she has never been very expressive. Something I thought she got from me, nature versus nurture? My daughter can't stand to be around her mother. She has said some truly awful things to her mother. Basically, variations of calling her a dirty slow who ruined our family. Whenever my wife tries to talk to her, my daughter yells and swears, and cries like I have never seen. Christmas is coming up and my daughter is demanding my wife leave the house until after New Year's, so she can spend time with her real family, meaning, me. My daughter has even come to me privately, saying that in the event of divorce, she wants to stay with me. She has even asked if it is possible to disown her mother, and be adopted by me. I haven't told this to my wife. My wife is preparing to leave for her parents' house for the holidays. My wife and I had talked about the situation, but have decided to wait until after New Year's to make any decisions. I admit I'm grateful she agreed to leave, because honestly, I need some time to process this. I think I'm writing this as a way to just come to terms with everything that has happened. Edit, after writing this post I fell asleep for a few hours. I came back to the post after about 10 hours and realized there were more than 200 messages. Thanks to everyone who took the time to comment, it means a lot. Additionally. Thanks for all of the compassion and kind comments. I was touched by the displays of support, and I'm not ashamed to say I shed a few tears. I still haven't read every message, but know I intend to, whether or not I respond to yours specifically. I want to address two consistent things mentioned in the comments. I've had a DNA test. After our ancestry tests were different due to her lack of Native American blood, we got proper DNA tests. That was when I confronted my wife. Looking back at the original post, I'm sorry for not making that clear. I have made it clear in no uncertain terms that she is my daughter and I am her father, regardless of the situation. I've reiterated to her repeatedly that she can stay with me, and I will never leave her. Several comments suggested she might be scared I will leave her, or want nothing more to do with her. Nothing could be farther from the truth and I tell her every day. Now for the top advice. Can't really give any advice. Just so sorry that your wife married you under false pretenses, and cheated on you. The one good thing is, you do have a loving daughter and she will always be part of you and you of her. 
Good luck with whatever you decide. Keep the kid, ditch the wife. Once the kid's anger is gone, tell her she is free to have a relationship with her mom. Go through with adopting her, and then file for divorce. Good luck OP. He doesn't need to adopt her. If they were married when she was born and OP's name is on the birth certificate, he is already considered her legal parent, regardless of DNA. I'm so sorry, OP. The betrayal of finding out you have been lied to for so many years of your marriage, is excruciating. I know from experience. But you have a great kid, and she is yours no matter what. I hope you both start to heal and have a Merry Christmas. I hate reading stories like these, but I also appreciate stories like these. I want to thank you and others for posting them. Paternity fraud is a heinous thing to do. There is never a valid justification for it. I'm so sorry man. My two cents for what it's worth are. She lied to you about one of the cornerstones of your relationship every single day that it existed. That relationship is dead. It was never really alive. Activate that prenup and end it as soon as possible. Even if you decide to stay with her, you will need to start over with the full undiluted truth. Almost impossible in my opinion. She has stolen 15 years of your life, and deprived you of your right to choose your own path. How likely is it, that someone capable of that hasn't lied about other things? You obviously love your daughter very much. You and her, should be your only priority now. Individual counseling for you both is a must. Keep the lines of communication between you open at all times. She is going to need constant reassurance, that she is still your kid and you love her always. She will also need to have a relationship with her mother moving forward. This will hurt you for a very long time. Do whatever you need to do for both of your healing process. I wish you well in her friend. Exactly this, your daughter will need constant reassurance that this does not change your relationship with her and that she's still your daughter, but keep in mind that this is something that may cause her to start doubting herself and second guess everything you say to her, when you disagree on something, she might take it as you doing that because she's not your bio child. Now for the next story. My dad's been cheating on my mom and I'm just realizing I've been helping him all this time. I feel sick thinking about this because I know for a fact it's been going on for years but I was too stupid to see it. I'm 15 years old guy, so I'm still living with my parents. Since I started connecting the dots, I tried to go as far back as I can remember this happening, and I feel like the first time I actually witnessed this I was 5 or 6. This whole time, I thought it was a weird dream I had because I remember I had the flu or something that kept me home from school. I saw my dad having intercourse, at the time, didn't know what it was, in their bed with some lady who obviously wasn't my mom, because she went to work that day and dad stayed home to watch me. The door was slightly open so he didn't see me, but thinking back now, I know for sure they were doing it. I never said anything, and eventually, I kind of forgot about it. One of those memories that you don't even remember till something triggers it. Which is what happened a few weeks ago. I caught my dad kissing one of his friends when I went to his work after school. She is someone I known my whole life too. That's when all the other times growing up came back to my memories. Like from ages 6 to 8, sometimes when my dad would pick me up from school, we would stop at her house for over an hour. I never complained because she had a flat screen, so I'd watch TV in the living room or I'd go and play with her son. It was always fun going to her house, and my dad always told me not to say anything to mom because then, I wouldn't have free time after school anymore. It's because my mom's rule was always homework first as soon as I got home, and then I can watch TV, but at his friend's house, I was able to watch TV first. So, I always thought my dad would take me there just so I could have fun before we both went home. Guess in a way that was true. But thinking about it now, for sure he was cheating on my mom with her, and I was just there in her house having fun with her son and letting it happen. I hate myself for not telling my mom and lying, just so I could have extra hours in the TV. He was able to keep this up for I don't know how many years, because I never said anything, and still haven't said anything. I don't know how to say it now, when I've kept it a secret for all these years. Just so mad and sick. My dad was like my hero, and turns out, he's doing this bad thing to her all this time, and I'm mad for never knowing better or saying anything. Also mad at his friend, because she's friends with my mom too, and I don't want to see her again. It just sucks because me and her son are friends, we always like hanging out when my dad would take us to do stuff together. Now that's going to be over too. I don't know what to do with these feelings. I haven't been able to think about anything else. My parents are going to divorce for sure, and my mom's going to hate me for hurting her with lying. Now for the top advice. 
You shouldn't think of it as lying. You were young slash naive and wanted free time. Your dad took advantage of the fact that you wanted free time and manipulated you. That's all it is to it. When you tell your mom, just be honest and explain that you didn't realize what was happening until now. Oh sweetheart. You didn't know. Not really. This isn't your fault and she won't blame you. This is your dad's fault, and it is so awful he got you involved in this at all. Have you confronted him about it? I haven't been able to look at him, or my mom since this happened. I'm kind of avoiding them right now, and being in my room when I'm not doing chores or school. I eat early before my dad gets home from work, so I don't have to sit with them for dinner time. When I was 14, I found the journal my dad and his mistress would pass back and forth. This lady had been to my house, with her husband, for Thanksgiving dinner and other events. My dad skipped family Christmas to stay home and sleep with her in my parents' bed. I spent some time talking to the school counselor about it, and she eventually called my mom on my behalf and told her what I saw slash knew. My mom held slash holds absolutely nothing against me. I knew what was happening for a while before I said anything, and the guilt ate away at me for a long time. But it felt so good to get off my chest and have my parents deal with it. It was over 10 years ago now and I still think about it regularly. I have accepted that I was not an accomplice and have no responsibility. My dad is a grown man and made his own bed. You have nothing to be sorry for. I know it's hard to accept. But it is absolutely not your fault. Thanks for this. But your mom was never mad at you even for a little bit? Can I ask what happened with your parents after she found out? Did you ever see the lady again after that? It's crazy because my dad's friend has been around my whole life, at our house millions of times with her son. And she's also spent holidays and vacations with us, so it makes it worse now. Now for the last story. A fair and not my child. So, first post and it's a long story, so I will try and contract it. My wife and I have been married for 19 years. We have three teenage children together. It recently came to light that she had an affair in our first year of marriage with a friend. I had always had my doubts but she never admitted to anything. In fact, she accused me multiple times throughout the years of cheating, even though I have never come close. He filed a paternity petition to prove he was the father of our son, she had no idea, but I dealt with it, which I defeated in court, and he cannot approach us till the child turns 18 years old. Which is in 1.5 years in his petition he stated the affair started 6 weeks after we married and continued for over a year. I had no idea, except an inkling something was off. She said it happened, but she was in a substance haze fueled by him, to keep her in the affair. After the court case, I confronted her and she said it maybe happened, but not for a year. He had an affidavit, but amongst it were 41 points of what happened, and most of it was disturbing reading, including many many actual acts she would never do with me. Confronted with the information, she admitted it happened, but says she has forgotten about it and what he says is embellished, but won't say what is or isn't true. I did a DNA test and our oldest child isn't mine biologically. I'm an absolute mess. Not only am I dealing with an 18 year old affair, but also the knowledge of my child. Initially I wanted to work through it, but I said I needed the honest truth and nothing less. This hasn't been forthcoming, and in all honesty, she acts as though life is going on as normal and hasn't made any changes to her life. Although she says we constantly talk about it, and that's true from my perspective. We only talk as I get no answers, and I can't actually deal with anything or process what happened. If I didn't have his affidavit, I wouldn't ask for so many details. However, having 41 points of what they did, drives me crazy, and not having any answers from her apart from two non-actual points, really frustrates me. She says nothing has ever happened with anyone else since, and I do believe her. However, other instances make me wonder if she could lead back to an affair further down the track without change. I haven't been happy for a long time, and a lot of that can be traced back to her actions, from and after the affair. That said, although unhappy, I did commit to our marriage, to her, and in turn, our kids, and although I've had some time outs, I was prepared to stay. She says she wants to work on our marriage, and is sorry, but all of this along with her unwillingness to change or reveal what actually happened, has me unable to work out what to do. I've never asked her not to go out, even though I'm a worker and homebody which results in me sitting at home with the kids, while she goes out on weekend nights with friends. I have asked her that if certain people are there, to leave the event and do something else, however, she looks at this as me telling her she can't go out? I have tried to put some boundaries in place, to try to repair our marriage, and give me some feelings of trust going forward? I've asked her to leave a party if certain people are there? 
However, she seems to not want to accept that. I feel like at a minimum right now, she should really listen to and accept my feelings, and change her life, rather than fighting back. There is a lot more, but for basic context, this is an outline. Has anyone been in a similar situation and what was your decision? Now for the top advice. You're trying, and you shouldn't be. You're asking, and you shouldn't have to ask. You're communicating, and it should be her who's doing so. You haven't been happy, but still trying to engage. You want boundaries, but can't even get authentic dialogue going. You want remorse from a wife who should be on her knees, but acts as if you are wrong for expecting it. Wake up. Sooner the better. That's when everything above changes in your favor. This is really good. My focus through this whole process has been about the lies and deceit, but the remorselessness, even in the face of discussion about separation, is brutal. I can't remember the last time I received an honest apology about anything in our marriage. Her actions make me believe she doesn't even like you, maybe she never did. You are useful as a bill payer, food supplier, and babysitter while she goes out though. She has spent 18 years lying to you and continues to not care about you. Hardly someone I would want in my life. Have you gotten a paternity test for your other children? No I haven't. To be honest, I'm confident slash comfortable they are mine. They are both similar in all aspects to me, and also look alike. The eldest is very different, but I put it down to my wife's European background, and could justify it in my head for years. Why did she stop the affair after one year? In retrospect, at the time we were having problems, and she was spending nights at a friend's or sleeping in the car. We would randomly sleep together when she felt like it. She came home one day and knocked at the door crying, and said she thought she was pregnant. Now I'm led to believe that the affair ended when she found out she was pregnant. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.